If you live in a city, or at least a decently sized town, chances are that you've seen these, all sorts of e-mobility vehicles on the streets. Cities have been filled with e-scooters and e-bikes, which can be rented for a relatively cheap price. These come with a mobile app, which makes renting them a breeze. In this video, we'll explore the e-mobility offerings available in my home city of Prague, Czech Republic. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps out a ton. Thanks and on to the video. Lime is a well-known American micromobility company, operating all around the world. Lime started out in 2017 in the armpit of innovation, Silicon Valley. On the 28th of January 2018, Lime dropped a bucket load of e-scooters on Prague streets. Originally, the zone where you could ride was limited to the city center. But now, the zone covers most of the inner parts of Prague. At first, Lime e-scooters were infamous for being mostly used by drunk tourists on their vacation to Prague, and while that is still somewhat true, locals are starting to ride them as well. In 2020, Lime dropped e-bikes on the streets to complement their e-scooter offering. Right now, in July 2024, Lime operates over a thousand e-scooters and hundreds of e-bikes in Prague. That was enough background, now let's get riding. First, I decided to ride the e-bikes. The bikes feature a Dutch style step through frame as well, but at least personally, I felt more comfortable riding it compared to the bikes of traditional bike sharing services like Recola or Nextbike. Video about those is in the description. Renting an e-bike is thankfully very simple, even a lobotomized chinchilla could pull it off. You open the Lime app, where it shows you a map of all the vehicles and the price for unlocking and riding them. The price is usually comprised of an unlock fee and then a certain rate per minute of riding. After opening the app, you scan the QR code on the e-bike and tap begin a ride. After that, the app reminds you that you have to park in designated areas and you're almost good to go. The last step involves unlocking the lock and then you're ready to go. I usually adjust the height of the seat before setting off, but that depends on your height. You might not need to do that when you decide to ride. After you start pedaling, you can feel the motor kick in, making pedaling way easier, especially when pedaling uphill. The motor is speed limited to 25 km or 15.5 miles per hour based on local laws. According to Czech law, e-bikes that go over that speed with their motors are not considered bicycles but motorcycles and are regulated like them. To be clear, e-bikes can physically go over 25 km or 15.5 miles per hour either by pedaling or going downhill, but the electric motor assist is speed limited to comply with local laws. After getting to your destination, you park the bike, lock the lock on the bike and end the ride in the app. Then, the app asks you to take a picture of the vehicle to verify that you've parked correctly. After that, the app shows you how much money you were charged for the ride and the distance you traveled. For an 8 minute 51 second ride, I paid 40.5 Czech crowns or 1.6 euros. Note that this rate is cheaper than normal since I activated the free trial for Lime's subscription program, which gives you cheaper rates. Lime's e-scooter renting is a similar story. To rent one, you open the app, scan the QR code on the scooter, tap begin ride and the scooter unlocks automatically. If you're riding for the first time, the app also shows you a little tutorial for riding. After unlocking, you fold up the kickstand, step on, kick off with your foot and engage the throttle on the right handlebar. Like e-bikes, e-scooters are legally limited to 25 km or 15.5 miles per hour in Prague. Unlike with bikes, you ride an e-scooter standing up. This is comfortable, but the ride can be pretty shaky, especially on cobblestones. After getting to your destination, you park the scooter and end the ride in the app. Then, you take a picture of the scooter and that's it. After ending that ride, I noticed that my camera was running out of battery and I didn't have a charging cable. Son of a- Charging cable acquired, let's get back to Lime. Overall, I have mixed feelings on Lime. I definitely like their e-bike offering more than their e-scooters, since I feel that e-bikes are a better fit for Prague. There is one more competitor in the e-micromobility market in Prague, let's look at them now. 
Bolt is a company of Estonian origin, mostly known for its ride-sharing services, directly competing with Uber. However, they also operate multiple other business ventures, food delivery, car sharing, and most importantly for this video, e-micromobility. Bolt's e-micromobility came to Prague in the year 2020, and so far, they've managed to establish a decent presence in the city. Bolt's e-bike fleet is by far the smallest in the city, while its e-scooter offering is about on par with Lime. First, I decided to ride the e-bikes. The e-bikes are quite rare in Prague. It took me a while to actually find one. Another thing that didn't help is the inability to filter e-bikes in the app, so I had to manually search the map until I found one. At least the app tells you the price, which is comprised of just a per minute rate. There is no unlocking fee. Like with all other services, renting a bike is simple. You open the app, scan a QR code located on the bike, press begin ride, and you can set off. Bolt's bikes also feature Dutch step-through frames, like all the other services. The bikes are a bit heavier than manual power bikes, caused by the battery and electric motor needed to power the bike. However, one thing that I'll criticize Bolt's bikes for is the relative flimsiness of them. The e-bikes definitely don't like speed bumps or getting off the curb on the pavement. From all the services I tried in Prague, Bolt's bikes seem the flimsiest of them all. After you start pedaling, you can feel the electric motor activating and assisting your pedaling. Again, as with every other e-micromobility service in Prague, the speed of the electric motor assist is limited to 25 km or 15.5 miles per hour. After arriving to your destination, you park the bike and the ride in the app and take a picture of the bike. For this 9 minute ride, I paid 54 crowns or about 2.15 euros. Boat's e-scooter sharing is similar. You find one, open the app, scan a QR code on it, press begin ride and you set off. The scooters look and operate similarly to Lime's offering. To ride, you step on, push off with your leg and engage the throttle to accelerate. The ride can be a bit unstable and shaky, depending on the terrain you're riding on. I don't think that there's anything special about Bolt's e-scooter offering. The only major differences are the different colors and the different price. For this 7 minute ride, I paid 41 crowns or 1.63 euros. Overall, Bolt's offering didn't impress me. Their e-bikes feel flimsy, and the e-scooters aren't a good fit for a lot of Prague, in my opinion. In my opinion, e-bikes make way more sense for a city like Prague than e-scooters. Prague has some decently sized hills, which could prove to be a challenge for scooters. A lot of the center is also covered in cobblestones and such, which turns an e-scooter ride into a free full body massage real quick. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to support my work, I have a Ko-Fi page with 3 membership tiers, all of which bring you sweet benefits, like early access to my videos. There are also affiliate links to the equipment I use to make these videos in the description. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I'd also like to take this time to thank Monday's Last Brain Cell and Arrow Martian for supporting the channel with the top membership tier. I'm extremely grateful for the support. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time, bye! At first, Lime e-scooters were infamous for being mostly used by drunk tourists on their vacation to Prague, and while that's- There is one more competitor in the e-micromob- Micromobility. Speak English, please.